No one told me the difference between STL, OBJ, or PLY. To save you the same headache, I'm going to explain what each file format means and when you should use it. STL files are pure geometry. They store shape and surface as a mesh of triangles. Pros, they are industry standard and are universally accepted for CAD CAD. They are also a lightweight, quick to process format. Cons, they don't include color, texture, or the skin details. STLs are perfect for restorative workflows like crowns where you just need clean geometry fast. OBJ files capture geometry plus color and texture. Pros, it includes color and texture mapping as well as more complex geometric information by mapping 3D textures onto your object. Cons, file management is more difficult. As you need the OBJ file plus the attached color data file, there's less universal support in dental CAD compared to STL. OBJs are best for visual cases, digital smile design, patient previews, marketing material, where surface look matters. PLY file. PLY captures geometry plus rich data, color, texture, normals, and even per point confidence. Plus, they store everything as a single file, making it easier to manage than OBJs. Cons, they're much larger, slower to process files, and aren't supported by all CAD or scanner software. PLYs are perfect for aesthetic analysis, diagnostic cases, patient monitoring, or any workflow where visual fidelity and metadata matter more than speed. And if you're tired of format drama, good news. Every smart CAD plays nice with all three, so your workflow stays smooth. So, when should you use each file? Use STL when geometry is all you need, OBJ when you want visuals like color or texture, and PLY when you need full color scan detail or diagnostic confidence data. What's your preferred file format? Let us know in the comments and follow for more digital dentistry tips.